And we're live. Welcome to the 27th Sprint Review Call. Uh, so excited to just uh, dive right into it. Let me share my screen. So much has been happening this, this, uh, this sprint. We hit some major milestones. The dashboard is on its last, uh, last few editions. Uh, this is this this dashboard, of course, will eventually be white labeled by us so that other commons can uh, put their own branding on it. But the TEC has the branding now and we're having all these great param parties that you want to come. If you want to learn how to design a bonding curve and conviction voting, uh, you, you definitely want to jump into some of the param parties. Uh, we have this. Uh, um, the, we made some major improvements, the last improvements to make uh, designing the bonding curve even easier. We took out so much stuff in this corner uh, right here so that you could just have one button to add a transaction to the bonding curve and, and experience your bonding curve. But we also added this zoom feature so you can zoom in on uh, on the on where you put your uh, uh, different transactions. And also uh, we added the simulate funding request. And this has already had a huge impact on Bright ID uh, and other people who are using conviction voting are already using this to tweak their parameters. So uh, it very much um, market product fit and, and validation from the external scene. So very excited to get this out and uh, continue doing the param parties for this next sprint. And the other big news, that I was a part of at least is the common swarm has hit a major milestone. We we did our first test full commons upgrade from a hash DAO to uh, to a full commons. And uh, man, there these are some epic uh, votes. Uh, and this is really the um, uh, you know a huge milestone because there's so many little pieces that were added to make this possible, uh, including EVM CRISPR. Oh no. Uh, including EVM CRISPR, and uh, looks like the test gardens is got taken down. But uh, we made all these cool votes, and the votes are insane. It's like one vote that does twenty things all together, and uh, it's uh, it was never before possible with Aragon. You'd have to do twenty votes to do each one one pass, and so EVM CRISPR allows us to. Do that all together. Also, we made these migration tools, this app for Aragon DAOs that allows the two DAOs to actually connect to each other. And so that like th this DAO passes a vote and this DAO passes a vote and then they become connected. And, uh, and one DAO can mint tokens for the other DAO upon receiving, uh, upon receiving the funds from the other DAO. And so it's like this really cool DAO to DAO module that allows uh, atomic transactions between DAOs uh, that really is getting its first uh, major test. And so it's just super cool. Uh, and I'm, I'm super excited to have the, the bonding curve and conviction voting working in tandem. And next week, we'll probably actually have the full on, uh, this is the what the bonding curve will look like. So a nice, simple interface. Uh, but next next week we'll have the full demo. Uh, this this last sprint we just had the first internal demo for the team to fix some smaller things, uh, but it was a huge success. So uh, major praise to Paulo and Sam for for all that hard work. And also we uh, did the budget. You know it's uh, December third, so on the first we do the budget every month. Uh, so for the association, the, the trusted seed is pretty short on funds, only $15,000 left in the trusted seed coffers. We're actually, the big news here is that we're actually going to uh, stop payouts for uh, this, after this month. We'll make uh, this last payout uh, and then we'll freeze the funding so we can gather more funding in the association uh, for uh, a little bit. We don't, we can't run in the red. So uh, that's kind of big news. And, uh, but luckily the community, fund the the CS DAO will uh, be able to hold its own because it still has lots of funding $138,000 sitting sitting in the fund uh, this this month uh, still to support uh, all the all the work that we're doing so we we're set to run out of funds in September so we, we'll we'll make it for a while uh, and with that I'll pass it to Tam cool and um, on a personal front, I uh, had some 
fortunately, unfortunately, and those of you familiar with the children's book will get this. Fortunately, we had a great start to the sprint and unfortunately, my youngest daughter tested positive for COVID. Fortunately, her sister and I did not, but unfortunately, they're not allowed back in school. Fortunately, their teacher has sent the work that needs to be done. Unfortunately, I am the one responsible for teaching it to them. And my French is not as good as theirs. So unfortunately, uh, I'm the one that's teaching it to them. Um, you know, it. Uh, this ends, you know, this can go on forever. It ends with a fortunately, and that's that my youngest is going back to school on Monday. So I've had a little bit of prioritization to do uh, the sprint. But that being said, uh, we did, this is sprint 27, and I think there's no one better to um, describe the name other than the person who chooses them. Ivy's been the most creative name chooser I've ever met, uh, and uh, past Ivy. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, welcome to Sprint 27. So the Sprint name is uh, Pastoralism. So it's actually a bit, uh, a little bit different from the past Sprint names. But when I came across this, this term, I found it super interesting. And I feel like the idea behind it resonates with us. So pastoral communities typically inhabit areas that have um, sparse resources and ex extreme climate conditions. But they're also equipped with strategies to adapt to this um, climate changes, like how common staff adapts to uh, the changes. And like how pastoral herds turn uncultivated plants like wild grass into food and maintain biodiversity, uh, we at common staff uh, continue to build resources and tools that um, will benefit diverse communities that are focused on public goods. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I pass it back to you, Tam. Cool. I, I love that. I love that because it's very impact based. It's not what it is, but like, what is the impact of pastoral herds? And that is greater biodiversity and use for these lands. Okay, cool. Um, so um, this was a very light sprint for me. I had a good talk with uh, Max, who's, who's pretty new. I had a good talk with Tiago, who you'll meet in a little while. Um, Jess, Yanese, and Maria uh, gave me the update on the Regen Partnership. So uh, there's very interesting things that are happening in the, T uh, in the comment stack. And I also bring news from the TEC. Um, so during the um, during the Stewart Council, uh, we talked. Uh, they talked. We talked a little bit about uh, the possibility of uh, commitment to the XDI uh, Gnosis merger and what that means. Um, but more importantly, um, we had a params debate that was hosted by Lauren uh, specifically for the stewards, and I am just compelled to show you some of the names <laughs> of these. Um, the uh, $1 gambit for a million dollar Goldilocks faster erogeny, Juanca's Ostrom's $1 million baby. I think it's a collaboration between uh, Juanca, Livia, and, um, and Mitch, um, or and Juanca. Um, Mitch is the Bolshevik gambit for the revolutionary opening price and Zepdi's TEC casino. The most interesting thing about these debates is that um, each of the proposals is like carefully explained and each decision made is carefully explained, which is one of the best ways to get a really deep understanding of how the parameters work. So it's incredibly uh, informative and I look to go, I look really, I look forward to going to more. Uh, in the retrospective at the TEC, um, the outcome was to uh, have more time for community members to use the dashboard. Um, there was a, a lot of difficulty in people understanding the parameters in the first um, version of uh, the one or two sessions. People wanted to use the dashboard more. We didn't feel like we were getting good enough, um, good enough proposals that could go into um, the debate. So um, there was a, a decision to delay. And later in the, uh, the week, there was some reservation about how we made that decision. So then we did a deep dive, we did an after action review, um, posing the four questions, what was actually expected to happen, what actually happened, what went really well and why, and what we can improve and how. And the idea was to really focus on the decision-making process to extend the timeline and um, were the right people involved, was the right timeline in involved, how can we make better decisions? in the TEC, so that was really uh, neat to dive into. Um, the stewards also talked about the, um, the new uh, 
uh, Discord onboarding day zero experience, which the common stack has learned actually a lot from and um, and implemented some of the learnings that the TEC had um, had used to redesign their Discord server. There was a lively debate about the stewards um, funding proposal, uh, which is, you know, TEC is one of the many DAOs that are working on solving the puzzle of how to compensate contributors. Um, all of the proposals will be on the forum. Um, this is the one for Communitas. There's also one for the stewards and all of the working groups will publish their proposals for a community advice process before they go up for vote. Uh, so that's some of the things that happened and I'll pass to Livia. Thank you, Tim. So, for, for me, this print, um, I just published a few days ago the TC polycentric governance framework. So we've been discussing for a long time having multiple ways to make decisions in the TEC and they have been emerging naturally and we've just been trying to document the ways in which decisions have been uh, made already. So there is a natural integration of the community on how to take these decisions and we've been testing some tools and then some of them have been evolving a long time. So now I think we have a uh, solid ground for making decisions that of course it's always evolving, but we've been using advice process and um, separating advice process in, in three different categories and conviction voting that is coming after the commons upgrade for financial decisions, the towel voting that is also upcoming for technical decisions and a snapshot that we've been experimenting with for more or less two months and used mostly for cultural decisions and also broken down into three use cases and also token lock that we use for this crowd proposal making. So when we need a lot of proposals to be submitted and we can use that tool to curate using the collective intelligence of the community to pick the top ones and then uh, we can make the final decision on snapshot. So this seems that has been working well for, for the TC and you can see the whole uh, breakdown of all of them here, what do they mean, what are the parameters for them for the ones that have it already. So um, yeah, that's it for the decision making process. And also uh, shilling something that we used recently for the first time ever, that is the quadratic ring choice voting. And that's super cool because uh, we decided to use just two voting types on snapshot that is quadratic voting and quadratic ranked choice voting because ranked choice voting is very useful for some of our use cases. And we didn't want to left, leave it outside of the quadratic uh, rounds. So Pedro uh, jumped in with us to make a code for transforming the ranked choice voting on snapshot into quadratic. And now we're still troubleshooting a few things, but the quadratic ring choice voting is working. And we made a first decision that is the laser tag. So we mentioned before that we were choosing a multi-sig that will be responsible for the decisions of the initial buy-in funds from the TC. And, and the multi-sig uh, holders were decided through quadratic ring choice voting. So that's awesome. And moving on to uh, the DAO reward systems. So uh, in, the, in the Token Engineering Academy in a partnership with the Governouts, we've been having the third week now, I think, of this research program that is looking into DAO reward systems. So from peer-to-peer -peer rewards to grants to uh, all types of rewards involved in a DAO community. And uh, we have so much uh, happening, a few projects that are um, partner cases. So we have Ocean Dow, Near Protocol, um, the TEC, Gnosis, and uh, so many interesting stuff is coming from there. And we wanted to make, um, usually the Token Engineering Academy has uh, lectures during the courses. 
But because there was so much to talk about reward systems, we decided to make a whole conference day. So on the 10th, there will be so many talks about DAO reward systems. You don't want to miss it. Uh, some of the speakers are Owaki, Peter Penn from Meta Cartel, uh, Kay from Zodiac. Uh, we're also partnering with the Taoist to make this conference more of a conference-like thing and have it very organized and promoted everywhere. So there's a registration form here. Um, be sure not to miss it. And the final thing I want to share is that uh, coming from what Tam was saying that we were discussing uh, how the decisions were being made around extending the, the period for the commons upgrade. Some of the things that came up in that Miro session that she was sharing is that we should be more intentional about why we're making changes, how are we making decisions. And part of the intention of wanting to um, change the date for the commons upgrade was that we didn't have enough quality proposals that enough people were backing them and were super excited about them. So we decided to change the metric from time to quality proposals and changing to quality proposals. Maybe we could uh, think of quality proposals being there's enough people backing them up. There's enough people excited about them and thinking that they are a great option for the TEC economy. So this is still an advice process phase. We've been talking with the stewards and understanding if uh, substituting that metric is a good idea, but it seems like we're going in that direction. So um, up until December 16th, we should have a good set of five proposals that have people very excited about them. And then we've, if we have that check mark and if the stewards working group can give it a go, then we continue with the dates that we have here in this post. Otherwise, we revisit it again to match our metric of having quality proposals. And that was it for me. And I will pass to Christopher. Thanks. Let me share screen here. Uh, first, I'd like to talk a bit about the trusted seed or the, the, develop, the continued development of the trusted seed in becoming sort of uh, more standing on its own legs. Uh, part of that is building the trusted seed dashboard and part of it is also giving the trusted seed its own graphical identity so it can easy, more easy, easily speak with its uh, uh, own voice. Uh, and now we have, a, have had a few back and forths with, uh, with Marco and Rod. You made fantastic designs. And uh, now we have, a, uh, I wouldn't say that this is the final, final logo, but almost. Uh, this logo is a, is a bit warmer than before. Uh, it's uh, more solar punk than uh, cyberpunk. Uh, we are, will be working with the dark theme because that is what we prefer as crypto people. Um, so this is how it looks. Look at these uh, sweet uh, designs made by Marco and Rodri. Uh, and they have also been uh, looking at the designs uh, for for the um, for the trusted seed dashboard and and uh, modified them according to this new color scheme, this warmer color scheme. And we uh, this uh, I'd say it looks fantastic. I really look forward to to getting to start building this actual uh, dashboard as a tool for trust, all trusted seed members. Um, So that's uh, what I had to say about the trusted seed continued development. And um, then for the work uh, I've been doing for um, the setting up the reward system or upgrading the TEC reward system, uh, the major thing that happened this uh, sprint was that we launched the TEC uh, rewards working group, uh, which is the major step. Uh, and not, not only did we... Uh, do that. We have uh, Mitch has been uh, he has set up the rewards board, which is a, a mini DAO that will manage the funds uh, for rewards uh, quantifications and the the, uh, the the periodic payments of uh, rewards to to all contributors. And uh, the, that small DAO also will be responsible for 
um, doing an analysis and to make sure that we don't end up in a, another uh, praise Mageddon. Um, and what else did happen uh, within the reward system? Yeah, we we demoed uh, the, the we did the first demo of the the, the new praise quantification uh, screen, like an interactive screen where you can actually choose and you can open pop-ups and, and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things happening within the uh, TEC reward system uh, upgrade. I cannot mention everything uh, today. Uh, I think I'll stop there and I'll pass it to uh, Ginesi. Yeah. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, well, as uh, you may notice during this sprint, we were able to uh, make some changes on our Discord. Uh, let me share my screen. Yeah, some changes on into our Discord server to make it easier to newcomers to navigate our channel upon first arrival. So there's a few pending changes to be made to further refine uh, this process to improve the experience for newcomers, uh, for new and, and, and current members. And yeah. So speaking about the pending processes, um, there are uh, two of them to be defined or to be reviewed on, or on the review. We have uh, the Commons Stack Contribution Model and some role changes to and to translate everything into a visual and simplified onboarding journey graph to guide you. And some contributors have uh, participated in the in this project and. And um, well, <laughs> it is important to, to receive uh, our feedback, the, your feedback. Uh, it's always welcome uh, and that allows us to be better in what we do. So, and um, the other thing in other news, good news, <laughs> we have prepared a special gift for the Trusted Seed members, a unique co-op, a Trusted Seed Commons Stack co-op. And, uh, you will soon uh, receive directly to your mailbox. And uh, well, this is a way of show you uh, appreciation for your presence in the community and being wonder a wonderful companion in supporting commons, as for example, the TC uh, or first deployment. And in, in their initial phase of uh, to achieve a sustainable de development. So yeah, <laughs> and if you think uh, this is a sign to apply to become a transit seat member, I don't know which sign you are looking for. <laughs> and well, with this, uh, I pass it to Maria. Thanks, Gina. Uh, great for the pop-up. <laughs> I want the pop-up right, right now. Um, yeah, so I have some news because I have been working and on the, we will have a special edition for the, for the office hours call. It will be a member spotlight call. Let me share my screen. And we are open for, um, um, we are open for uh, participants to be part of this call. Uh, this is a call where you can, you will have the chance to uh, showcase your uh, current project, or if you are part of a fund DAO, uh, go ahead and, and talk about uh, uh, talk about the uh, talk about it uh, on this call. And it will be around one or two minutes for, for that. If you have, if you need uh, members of the community who might be able to join you on your project or idea, or maybe you are looking for feedback uh, on this idea, uh, you can jump into this call and, and share your thoughts and, and, and projects. Uh, this will be on December 7th and December uh, 14th. Uh, on the other uh, other uh, office hours call uh, schedule, and also I have been working on a high form to update our, your contact information. If you are part of the trusted seed, you are a member, 
please go ahead and well you will be receiving this link very soon uh but this will allow us to have current information uh, about you so we can contact you better and we can work on uh, future uh, projects with up-to-date up information because it is difficult when people change their handles in this curve and we have to track <laughs> because we don't know when they do that uh please make our job a little bit easier <laughs> uh we will be uh sharing this link uh, with you and also you will have a feedback uh, section so we can work on new um, engagement uh, opportunities and uh, spaces where we can hear your voice and um, have more contrib contributions from, from our community which is very very appreciated and um, also I have been working with Jess and Tiago, who you will be uh, <laughs> knowing later in this call. Um, but we have been working on the region partnership. And this week we met this guy who has a very difficult name. He's from India, but nice. he's from Vietnam. Yeah, his name is Hais. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, he's from India and he's an amazing store, land store actually, uh, an innovator and in social uh, social impact and a uh, guy who is doing an amazing job in Latin America and the South Hemisphere. But yeah, he will be joining on, on the region uh, side of the partnership and we are very excited to meet the rest of the, of the, of the region uh, network who, who will be joining us on the partnership uh, endowment <laughs> uh, journey and with that i also have exciting uh figures we had since the last sprint we had 19 applications thank you everyone who have been interested on on being part of this amazing community and right now as we speak we have 331 members in the trusted team <laughs> we have been uh, adding a lot of great people, amazing value to our community. And I hope to see everyone um, sharing and introducing their, their self uh, in the future. With that, I'll pass it to Eken. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Um, apologies, my network is a bit slow today, so I'll just um, run on audio. So um, our AMA happened. So throughout this spring, we build, started early to build into that. Meanwhile, this spring started with um, distribution of last sprint recording uh, in all our channels. Then we built that into our YouTube distribution, YouTube video distributions, where uh, we had some of the videos explaining how the bonding curve is creating a new economy and a demo also of step-by-step -step, uh, life journey of how a bonding curve can support a community. We also uh, uh, distributed interactive infographics, both from uh, Token Engineering uh, Commons TEC. The idea was we're laying uh, the lands and um, getting ready for the AMA, which eventually happened. We did announcement and hosted and um, thank you guys for turning up. It, it was, there was this massive turnout, like everybody showed up and the interactions was very very impressive and um currently uh i'll quickly run our analytics before the network cuts me out uh our linkedin post impression stand at 2.5k and that is 45 percent increase from the last print and we have 25 new followers currently on our linkedin and which is um 177 percent increase then we have also 67 percent um action on the account with 100 percent button clicks so thank you guys you listen to our call the last time on and you're turning up on our linkedin page we really do appreciate that for the twitter we are also uh, turning up so but we have a 78.1 tweets that's k and then we are making um we had uh, 19,200 profile visits with 414 mentions and 440 new followers. So thank you guys for uh, helping us stay within the community and thank you guys for responding and keeping the community engaged. Um, with that, I'll pass to I.
Thanks, Akene. Um, okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Is it? I think this one. Okay. So um yeah, this sprint uh Gitcoin grants um, round tab um kicked off. So we pushed out um several communications to um share our grant and the other grants in our um ecosystem. So if you want to donate to our grant, um you can find all the links in this tweet thread. Go just go to our Twitter page. And yeah, and um also uh uh CS Community Fund is back for a uh, uh, Gitcoin grant round sale. So, um, uh, if you have, if you're a trusted seed member and you have C stack, you can choose your um, favorite uh, Gitcoin grant in our uh, in this uh, in, uh, through our conviction voting. And um, yeah, vote for your favorite uh, grant to receive um, extra extra uh, funding from uh, from our fund and from community fund uh, via Panvala. So yeah, you can uh, we'll put this link in the uh, in the YouTube description, so you can go directly to, to this uh, voting, uh, yeah, to our conviction voting. And then also this sprint, we uh, had our uh, Bunny Curves um, AMA. So um, uh, it's now, the recording is now up on uh, YouTube, on our YouTube page, YouTube channel. So uh, check it out. And uh, if, you, if you missed the call, you can um, watch the recording here. It's already available. And um, what else? Um, we, this sprint, we also finished um, setting up the uh, air table. So uh, Ekan and I have been um, using this, um, this uh, tool to coordinate and plan the, uh, our, our content for all our social media channels. Uh, yeah, and uh, on the TEC side, um, the Transparency Working Group, Zeti and I have been um, uh, working together to uh, revise the uh, audit report and the forum post so we it can increase uh, engagement. It will be uh, so it, it will be more understandable to the community. So uh, and then on the uh, legal working group, yeah, I started. Uh, I am now the acting steward of the legal working group on the TC, and um, we are uh, transforming this um, document. We so we have started. Um, discussion, uh, the discussion around uh, uh, treasury concerns from the legal perspective. So the goal is to um, turn this into forum posts so um, more people will uh, engage in the, in the discussion. And um, yeah, we, we still need uh, legal experts. So if you know anyone who's interested to contribute and volunteer, uh, please send them to me and yeah. That's all for me. I pass it to uh, Tiago. Great, thanks, Ivy. Uh, so so happy to be here and to meet you all. Um, I'm Tiago. I'm Brazilian. Uh, I'm an agronomist. I work my, majorly with organic agriculture, agroecology, but I'm also uh, in the crypto scene since. 2018, and it was a, a, a huge uh, surprise for me when I met the, the common stack and the TC. I was introduced by Danilo from the Block Science, uh, and uh, uh, I've been around for about four or five months now, uh, mostly in the TC. Uh, Discord channel, Grafton training, and some other activities. And uh, now uh, <laughs> I was very pleased to see the region and Comstack partnership and I was uh, involved and I, want to, I wanted to be involved to understand how the, the, the two organizations would build this, this partnership. And I'm happy, very, very happy to to lead this uh, bridge building between the two, the two DAOs. And uh, as Maria said, we had a, a, a call this week with Heis and uh, Jess to coordinate and start to, to manage this partnership and to understand the expectations 
uh, I believe um, this was my my part of the sprint for this week. I, I also had a call with Tamara to to set some uh, expectations and uh, ground, <laughs> and I uh, was very happy to to meet her and to you all. Thank you. And I don't know if I have to pass to someone. I believe everyone yeah. has. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can take it. We, uh, thanks for joining us, Tiago. It's so cool to see you here. Uh, and yeah, we usually end the call with you know, the, the fact that, you know, hey, we're what, I don't know, eight people or something. I can't count nine people uh, all here in this call right now. But we're just like the representatives of a uh, hundreds of people honestly that all made this sprint so awesome and so here comes the praise rant uh so first off pedro vitor fabio mitch and nuggin uh, and lauren all deserve huge praise for the work on the dashboard to make it what it is today it's beautiful uh special praise to pedro for all that work that he's been putting in this sprint uh really carrying the flag and pushing us forward uh definitely want to praise sam and paulo for all the incredible work on evm CRISPR migration tooling and just putting it all together in a beautiful repeatable package that all the future commons can use to deploy their own their own systems uh bradley for his work coordinating the common swarm praising for shell for all the accounting work that, uh, that that happens i don't do those spreadsheets okay it's all for shell uh i forgot to praise mitch lauren chewy zep and nuggin for hosting param parties and helping us uh collaboratively uh design our economy the tec economy praise mitch for calling us out on a fast decision uh around changing everything and uh and which led to some amazing discussions uh, uh with uh with major praise to nate septimus eduardo mitch livia shevnam wonka ygg chewy and lauren and all the other and all the tec stewards really for the thoughtful constructive disagreement and solutioning around recognizing uh when a decision was made without advice process and how we can avoid that issue in the future also praise gideon ms eduardo vi and lbs for the thought work and execution of day zero onboarding experience that the tec will use and hopefully other future comments will be able to enjoy i know giveth and and the and the common stack ourselves will definitely uh, be jumping into those uh definitely huge praise again to pedro for configuring the snapshot to make the first ever quadratic rank choice voting that i know of at least uh, praise Mitch and Zep for pushing forward the laser tag multi -sig, uh, vote and and uh, and the the multi sig uh, like construction. Praise Angela, Peter, and Patty for and the Dallas uh, uh, specifically. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Trying, trying. It's early uh, for the governance conference uh, and all the organization behind uh, making this sweet governance conf uh, gover governance focused governance conference. Uh, praise Marco and Rodri for the trusted seed branding. Praise Rudolph Five IV, Nebs Nuggin, MS YGG, Octopus, Mitch, Mateo, Grail, and Marco. Lot of team uh, for all the work going into the reward systems research. Uh, and, and the reward system that the TC will pull off. Praise Neuron, Awaki, and the rest of the Pinball and Gitcoin communities for pulling off another great Gitcoin round. Uh, praise uh, Highs for all the great leadership and land stewardship in the region community. Praise Acid Laser for all his awesome graphic design work to make the epic PO apps. Praise Sean Conaway, Simon, uh, and Jeff for their sh not sharing their knowledge about bonding curves and answering all the questions from our community. Praise Jess for moderating the bonding curves AMA. Praise Peter for coordinating all the common stack communications around Gitcoin round 12. Uh, praise Sam and Kai for deploying the newest version of conviction voting to vote on the all the projects that the community fund could fund. Uh, praise Sean for contributing his legal expertise to the TEC. Praise Zeptimus for all his efforts to bring transparency into the TEC and, and all future comments. Uh, praise Danilo and Jess for bringing you, Tiago, into the, into the mix. That's really awesome. Uh, and yeah and that's 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 the phrase for the for this round thank you all so much for listening to our our awesome re sprint review call and hopefully we'll see you again in two weeks bye